He's been a reporter in Iraq, off and on for five years, and he's Scottish. He's on a short break, and we're glad to have him with us in New York. Let's welcome Fox News correspondent David McDougall. He knows terror like I know terror. How are you, David? Terrified. Yeah, you <laughs> should be. And a little bit tanned. Yeah. Now, you've been there for five years. Who did you piss off? I, I don't know. I'm still there. I'm plugging away, and one of these days I'll get a real job. Yeah. I noticed in some of the footage you were fat, and now you're not fat. Exactly. I would like to say it was a rigorous exercise and salad eating regime, but it wasn't. It was a surgeon in the Czech Republic. <laughs> no, money, money may not buy you love, but it can help you look thin. Oh, fantastic. Now, when you, do, when, did you, when you got there, how different is the country now from when you got there? It is just as messed up now as it was uh, five years ago, except now there's like five years of decay has really set in. Mm, wow, so it's not an upbeat story from your it's end. It's not really. I feel well, like this such a buzzkill, I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, no, what's, what is the most messed up thing you've seen? And remember, we're a family show. Yeah, uh, probably coming right after uh, the Tom Cruise Nazi story. That was pretty messed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went from him and then segued into me. I mean, yeah. so That's a good point. Me, me and Iraq are worse than Tom Cruise yeah. and the Nazis. Well, no, but so what, tell me what happened when you were there. You must have some amusing and somewhat strange stories because you're in bed with all these journalists who have do nothing but just sit there in the hot sun. Tell me something. Well, it, it's almost like um, we planned this out carefully before so that you asked this question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We never rehearsed this. No, I mean, we, we do a lot of embeds. We get out and about. We were with the troops. Um, you see some, some messed up stuff. And I'm bearing in mind this is a family show that's yeah, on at 3 in the morning. Not at all. Not yeah. at all. No I lied about the family. If it's the Manson family, it's it, a family it show. The, well, the Manson family will love. <laughs> no, I saw some Iraqi soldier once who'd got his stomach shot up and they were stuffing his guts back in. And we watched the video back in the, in the bureau. And uh, my lovely colleague, Caroline Shively, uh -huh. DC reporter, was there. And one of these soldiers is yelling, I need some abdominal dressing, abdominal dressing. And Shively's like, why is he yelling for Domino's dressing? I'm like, Shively, really? Pizza in the middle of a war zone? Is it likely? <laughs> Terrible. That's awful. All right. How do you pass time in Baghdad? That's a horrible story, getting your stomach blown. What do you do when, you have, when nothing's going on? Well, like, like most people, when nothing's going on, I, I troll the internet. Um, Surfing Craigslist, mostly, <laughs> yes. to meet like-minded individuals for when I come to the civilization. <laughs> so, uh, so it's kind of like no different than what we do. Well, I speak for yourself, but, yeah. I, you know. A little there, more fear of death on the 18th floor, Greg, yeah. from are, our end. Are there, <laughs> that's true. Are there bars? Uh, no, there aren't really bars. Uh, Iraqis do drink. You know, there's lots of people. There used to be a lot of liquor stores, but a lot of them got closed down by the Shiite militias, especially don't like that, uh, you know, mm. tipping a 40 for their homies. For how, do you, how, how do you get your booze? Uh, you can buy it there. Um, when we buy it, we have to kind of put it in a black plastic bag if you're carrying in boxes of beer so that, you know, you don't get killed by the... Will people, I mean, will, will people kill you if they see you with alcohol? I think they will, yeah. And, you know, I'm six foot four and white. They're going to kill me anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So what, if you've got, drunk. <laughs> so what if you've got booze? No, sir, there's nothing in this big b b black thing that's shaped like a case of beer. You know, it's, uh, they would kill you. They would shoot you. And how many journalists are in Baghdad right now? Uh, you know, it varies. We've got, uh, I don't know, half a dozen people there at the Fox Bureau. Other people yeah. have got... Um, staff there as well. There's a lot less now, a lot less interest in the story than there was at the beginning of the war. There were yeah. 600 or, or more journalists embedded at the beginning of the war and now you know, it's really just a handful. Yeah. Now, um, are there a lot of hooking up among the journalists? I imagine that must be the case. I thought you were going to ask if there's a lot of hookers. But, um, <laughs> That's the next up, question. I think it goes on. You know, myself, I'm a clean living kind of guy. I'm yeah. saving myself <laughs> for marriage. Yeah. Um, yeah, much like my lesbian ex-wife was doing, but <laughs> sadly, sadly not the marriage to me. Um, no, I th it does go on, I'm sure, you know, people are young and who's the biggest jerk reporter out there oh I don't think anybody is you know people are uh, um, I know you want me to name names and yes, I just I can't I can't because uh, I'll get a kicking when I go back really yeah who's the hottest reporter well Could obviously be male well <laughs> You know, sometimes uh, O'Reilly comes out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes Geraldo. No, I think uh, our own Fox babes, mm -hmm. our own Courtney Keeley, our own Malini mm -hmm. Bawa, Anita McNaught, they're yeah. all out there. They're babes. Now, do they watch Red Eye out there? We do. It's a breakfast time viewing over it, our, uh, over our frosted, frosted Flakes in the morning at 10 a.m. Yeah. Something worth getting out for. Actually, we usually just catch the end because we're tuning in for the repeat of Special Report, but we just happen to catch you guys. <laughs> Nice of him to say that. <laughs> oh, wow. so you get a, with brand do you get a lot of sand in your breakfast? Sand pretty much gets everywhere. Absolutely yeah. everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, a lot of sandstorms this year. Sand mm. gets everywhere. Ah, wow. And no squirrels, right? No. Are there squirrels it up gets there? in your eyes. Uh, no right. squirrels in no Baghdad. Squirrels? No None. squirrels. But they call them lizards. All right, no. we got to move on, you kids. Thank you, David. A pleasure. Please come back. Be safe. You know.
know, don't do anything crazy. Coming up next, I'll read your emails. And have you been to our virtual basement? Go